Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Audio Tips. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show beginners and new users to uh, Logic Pro how to basically go into your audio effects uh, uh, folder and open a, a plugin called Phase Distortion. Uh, it's part of the distortion family. It just uh, has a, a phase effect, uh, a phase distortion effect, hence why they call it Phase Distortion. Um, basically, go in and show you guys what kind of options it has to offer. You know, play or, uh, show you guys how to play around with it a bit to get to get the actual sound that you want. I'm not gonna go into too much detail right now because later on in the future, I'm gonna open each plugin and and certain uh, mix screens that I have going on. I'm gonna basically show you guys how I mix and give you guys some tips on mixing. But for right now, we're gonna go into audio effects. We're gonna go down to distortion. We're gonna go down to phase distortion. Open it up and it's gonna look a little something like this. Uh, you got your cutoff meter, resonance, and how much you want mixing it. This bit is basically the last button you touch after you uh, 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 have all these max uh, modulation control and intensity, uh, sorry, intensity uh, control uh, uh, done as well. So uh, again, how much, how much of all, how much of all these uh, uh, options uh, you want to be mixed into the song is controlled by this. You can have zero mix, you can have zero uh, phase distortion, or you can have 35% uh, phase distortion. Or 61% phase distortion. Max modulation is basically changes the sound of the of the distortion you're having. Uh, I basically suggest you guys just just, just go into your uh, go into your uh, session. You know, throw this on a track, play around with it a little bit. It's not that hard to to uh, to get. Um, uh, see what kind of effects you guys can come up with. Hopefully, they'll be positive. You know, uh, it's going to be confusing at first, but practice makes perfect. Just hold on, uh, uh, just hold off a little bit and, and uh, give a little bit of time. But if you guys can't get get quite cracking at it later on in the future, I'm going to show you guys how, how I use this effect and how to get the best optimum results out of it. But for now, that's it. Thank you guys for watching the video. Please subscribe.